Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and on this channel we talk about everything that makes me feel beautiful, which is usually fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And today we're going to talk about the five ways to find your personal style. Once you find your personal style, you save so much money and time. You will then just create a curated closet of everything that you like to wear and it just makes fashion more fun. So let's just get started. The first way to find your personal style is to find your feminine architect. Femininity and style go together, or they go hand in hand, but probably not in the way that you think. I am not a femininity channel by any means, or this is not a, fe a femininity channel, but I do know that femininity is personal. It's also a really big part of the way that you navigate through your life. Everyone's view on femininity is different um, and it varies from person to person, but there is one thing that um, defines your style. It's really the way that you manifest your femininity, whether you are um, a girly girl or, or not. There are different types that really help you find what type of clothing you will feel best in. Once you kind of figure out what your style of femininity is, you can then figure out what your style of clothing is. Okay, so I suggest that you take this feminine archetype quiz that's on, um, I'll leave the link below. It's on um, a website called Women Love, Women Love Power. And it kind of really breaks down what you are as a woman um, and how you display your femininity. The quiz is not made for um, style, but it does give you insight into your dominant feminine archetype, <laughs> which whereby gives you insight into your style. For example, my, when well, after I took the quiz several times and I got this, this, this result several times, my feminine archetype, my dominant feminine archetype is the lover and the siren. <laughs> and my second feminine archetype was the queen. So overwhelmingly, most of my points went to what they call the lover, the siren. And it really, when explained, it really helped me um, figure out why I like what I like. When you think of a siren, you think of someone or something that is not overtly sexy, but sexy nonetheless. When you think of a queen, you think of someone who's kind of a diva. <laughs> and someone who's kind of over the top and someone who is glamorous. All, I would use all of those words to describe my style, the way I move through life and just my overall personality. Though so right now I have the tendency to lean, lean more um, glamorous than um, overtly um, sexy, um, it's because right now I'm just kind of dealing with my body and you know try to get rid of that weight So it's mainly just because I feel uncomfortable right now So if you are not new here, you know that I pride myself in being a bombshell or Wanting to be received as a bombshell that is just my style and I always keep that in mind when shopping now I love a preppy look I don't look at it in a preppy look and I usually don't buy it, but I like the way they look. So when I'm when I gravitate towards those looks, I know that I'm not going to like it when I get home. So I keep in mind every in the back of my mind every time I'm shopping, beautiful, glamorous bombshell because that's what I like to be. And taking that quiz really just helped solidify everything that I already knew, but really helps me to direct um, my shopping habits and not to just spend it on anything. And like I said, though the quiz is not meant for style purposes, it is the first step in knowing who you are um, style-wise and I guess in life and how you navigate through life, it's the first step in helping you figure out what your personal style is. I'm gonna leave the quiz in the description bar. I would love for you guys to take the quiz and come back and tell me on this video what your results were. I was not surprised by my results um, because I kinda already knew, but it's, it's good. It's good to know yourself and then connect your style with it. So the second way to find your personal style is to find your style icons. Once you know your feminine archetype, 
and what you like and how you are perceived, you can then find a style icon that kind of matches that idea. I always, and now I know why, I always gravitated towards two people. Um, Dorothy Dandridge, like that old Hollywood, like back in the day, glamorous type of, not overtly sexy, but still sexy, and Tracy Ellis Ross. Tracy Ellis Ross, her style to me is diva. It's fabulous, it's over the top. And those two um, women is something that, or some people that I always gravitate towards too, and just something about those two women's style that I just adore. In fact, I like to, and maybe, hopefully I'm not the only one, but I like to go on YouTube and look at, at old clips of Dorothy Dandridge in movies. Dorothy Dandridge, I believe, was the first African-American um, movie star, right? Um, so I like to go back and look at some of those old clips and really just get like style inspiration. She is flirty. She's not outwardly sexy, but she's still still pretty darn sexy. Um, so yeah, I love to do that. And of course, I, on my Pinterest, I have pin pinned the mess out of Tracy Ellis Ross. In fact, I have those pink boots, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have some pink, pink Schutz boots. I saw a picture of Tracy in these beautiful satin pink boots with a pink outfit and a gray like um, jacket kind of. And when I saw the shoots boots, I said, I have, I have, have to buy these boots. So she was kind of inspiration for those boots. If Dorothy Dandridge and Tracy Ellis Ross does not speak to you, who does? Is it Beyonce? Is it Rihanna? Rihanna is more of a sporty type of vibe. Who speaks to you, figure out why, and then you have some more insight into what your personal style is. The third way to find your personal style is to find bloggers that have style that resonates with you. Okay, so this is different than finding um, a style icon or a star or somebody famous. Bloggers tend to uh, give you something that is more attainable, whether it's Gucci or Louis Vuitton or Zara, it's still more attainable than some of what the movie stars can give you. A lot of times famous people, movie stars, wear couture outfits that are just made for them. A lot of times they wear vintage pieces that are no longer in production. And though you might like their style, you not, might not be able to find those same pieces. So once you have your style icon, you can then move on to bloggers that really resonate with you. Now, similar to your style icon, you don't need to take everything that the blogger is giving you, right? You wanna take out bits and pieces of their style, because remember, that's their style, not yours. You wanna take out bits and pieces of their style and make it work for you, right? So if you are following a blogger who wears heels a lot of the time, but you are a mother of three and you have to bring your kids to school and your grocery shopping and you go to the soccer game, don't feel like you have to wear heels. What is it about that blogger that you follow that really resonates you, with you? It could be flats, it could be some really cool sneakers. What is it that resonates with you that you can then transfer over to your style? For example, I follow a lot of different bloggers and bloggers and fashion people and I just cannot get into the chunky boots. You guys have heard me say this. I cannot get into the combat boots. In fact, I bought some during the holidays just to try on, and as soon as I put them on, they weren't funny looking, but as soon as I put them on, I didn't feel right. And I wanted to try them and look cool so bad, <laughs> but that's just not my style. When I put them on, I was immediately trying to figure out how I can make them more glamorous. And, and, that's just, and that's okay, it's just not my style. However, I do like it on other people. It's just not something that resonates with me. So what I do when I look at some of my favorite vloggers, bloggers, fashion gals, is I take bits and pieces of what I already like. Maybe they have on a, a low wave belt that I think is fabulous, or some really cool shades. You guys know how I feel about sunglasses. But if they have on the belt and the shades and like a Bottega clutch, which all I love, but have on the chunky boots, I'll just take the elements of that outfit and put it into mine because that's what I love. Because their style is not my style. Just remember that the blogger and the icons and the people you follow on Instagram, um, 
That's their particular style. You have to find your own. What's interesting about that is that everything that you like is not going to work on you or work within your style. For example, I'm going to go back to the combat boots. I absolutely love them on so many people. Um, it just doesn't fit with me. The fourth way to find your personal style is to not be afraid to experiment. Okay, so you found your feminine archetype, right? So you know what you're, you know what you're about. You found your style icon. You like see this person and you say, I want to look so much like them. You found your blogger who gives you elements um, of your style on a more realistic level. And now, now that you have all that information, you have to experiment. Don't be afraid to try new things. Um, though I knew in my hardest of hearts that the combat boots weren't going to be my thing, I still felt like I had to try. I felt like there was a way to glam it up a bit, right? The good thing about living in 2021 is that you can return things. Most places you can return things to. So if you get something home and if immediately you put it on and you don't feel um, how you want to feel, when I put something on personally, I want to feel either fabulous or a little bit sexy, right? If I put that on, I put something on it and I don't get that feeling, it's not for me. It's just not for me. I have and had so many things in my closet that I don't wear because it's just not something that makes me feel good. Personal style is about feeling your best and feeling yourself all the time. So don't be afraid to try different things, whether it's a new lipstick or a different color. Color is another thing that's a whole color theory video that I, I probably should do. But if it's a new lipstick, a new color, a new style of shoe, don't be afraid to try it. The very worst thing, you just bring it back to the store. All right, so you got your feminine archetype, you got your style icon, you got your blogger, and you have been experimenting. Now it's time to go in your closet. But before we go any further, have you subscribed yet? I know. There are so many other videos on the internet that you could be watching, but you stood here and you continue to watch mine. And that's just fabulous. It's now time to look in your closet and pull out that one dress. Everyone has this. Everyone has a dress or a pair of pants or a shirt or a blouse or a pair of shoes. Pull out that one thing that you don't wear because you don't think that you can pull it off. Chances are you don't think you can pull it off because it's not your style. If something was really within your realm of style, if something really made you feel fabulous, you can pull it off, whatever it is. If it makes you feel good, you could pull it off. Now, if you put it on and it doesn't make you feel good, it's probably not your style. And guess what? That's okay. Interestingly enough, um, <laughs> somebody one time kind of gave me a backhanded compliment um, with those pink, those same pink boots I was telling you about and said, um, and said to me, oh, wow, pink boots. That's interesting. They're, they look good for you, you know? And I said, okay. They said, uh, I probably could never pull that off. And I said, yeah, you probably couldn't. It's probably not your style. Like they were trying to play me, <laughs> but the, the, the point is, is that they couldn't pull it off, not because I'm just so fabulous, but it's because they, it just didn't fit into their style. Um, and I think it's important for all of us to really know that just because we don't like it, doesn't mean it's not fabulous, right? So just because I don't like those Prada chunky boots or they don't really resonate with me, it doesn't mean it's not fabulous for somebody else. So now that you've gone in, into your closet and you have found that one thing that does not, or several things that does not resonate with you, get rid of it and don't buy anything else that has that style. By this time and by this fifth step, you should have exactly what your personal style is. You guys, my goal here on this channel is to help women feel their best, whether it's through my education, my discoveries, my purchases, my experience. I want to help you all feel your best. Um, so I don't, I'm not here to make you look like me or to have my style. I'm here to help you find your style. I'm here to help you find what good hair products work for you. 
I'm here to find, to help you find what the best perfume is for you through my discoveries, through my education, through my experience. So don't feel like when you watch other bloggers that they want you, well, maybe they do, I don't know. Don't feel like you have to do exactly what they do to look as good as they do. And if you happen to find something that I wear or that I use or that works for me that also works for you, that's fabulous. Anyway, guys, those are my five ways to find your personal style. Um, I feel like there's a lot that I've been missing here, and maybe I could do five more ways at, an at another time, maybe a week or two, if you guys think that's a good idea. Um, I feel like people are just buying random things just because they see people on YouTube buying it or they see their favorite vlogger wearing it, blogger, vlogger wearing it. Um, and I just think it's important to be able to decipher and differentiate between what looks good on somebody else and what someone else's style is and what your style is. I have a very clear picture of what my style is now. Um, my style kind of changes a little bit for, you know, during the summer and the fall. And if I'm being honest, it also changes with my fluctuation of weight, even though throughout anything, there's always that sense of bombshell, always a little sense of bombshell, whether it's the glamorous glasses or oversized hat or um, big sleeves. <laughs> there's always something, a sense for me, a sense of bombshell. So anyway, I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please tell your friends, leave a comment, um, take that quiz because I would love to know what your results were, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.